everybody. This is going to be a slightly less quiet tour of the original series Enterprise that I built. This Enterprise probably took, I want to say, an hour longer than the 1A version. But that was mostly just to get some of the micro details. It's not entirely finished. There needs to be red stripes along the side of the hall here. Love the decorative pack too. Added this giant dish. Uh, before that I was building dishes out of blocks and sticking the radar dish on the front. Those radars are uh, for the holographic radar mod. Uh, I did not create any of the mods that you see. All these mods are by other authors. Huge shout out to them, which you'll see on the, uh, the downloads of these ships. All the mods require the author names listed, and every one of them works. Um, the, the system that I'm using is a an MSI laptop and a 1650 NVIDIA GeForce and an i5 next gen i5 this versus my workstation that I usually use for these uh, these shuttles didn't take very long they work okay they work a lot better if you have the planetary uh, atmosphere mod uh, you don't need the speed mods and everything, but without it, they're a little sluggish. And they could use a few more batteries if you're going to use them for a long time on the planet surface, just because uh, when you start going forward, they tend to want to fall a little bit when you're close to the surface. The warp core mods, they didn't have one specifically for the old series, so that's a little bit of improv. It works fine. It works about as well as eight or nine reactors, large reactors. The large storage areas. For here, I figured a transporter room and connected it to a med bay. With the decorative pack two, I can add more medical lab looking equipment here, but I figure it's good for what it is. You respawn close enough to the saucer section if anything goes wrong. Small galley. If you play with a lot of people, it's kind of nice to have a ship big enough to spread out, especially if you don't do a lot down on the planets. That's sort of the idea. Now this, this needs a bit of refinement. I have a secondary or an emergency bridge section here. Looks great on paper, but actually in use, it seems like by the time you're getting hull breaches, it's just as susceptible. So if you're planning to use it in heavy battle, you might want to consider a redesign of that. We've got another transporter section here. Uh, this walkthrough area you can do pretty much anything with. I figure a little meeting area, I don't know. Bedrooms, uh, several, obviously not as many as there would be, but that's the thickness of the blocks. You couldn't possibly add as many bedrooms and everything to the original design. Uh, and if you did, you really need an awful lot of people playing it with you at the same time for there to be any appreciable difference. That's a shield control table, the energy shield system. I control it from the cockpit, but if you had to, you could actually change it from there, the settings. Take note with the energy shields, there's a power uh, scale thing to adjust. Set yours in the gigawatts, especially on this ship. Don't go above like 2 gigawatts, but yeah. Of course the ship itself controls. Everything works. There's a tractor beam on the back. It's a reasonably nice feature to have. It's not very useful for combat, but I actually have used it to tow some things around. Uh, recovered a couple shuttlecrafts that got damaged with it and things like that, which was nice. Pulling them away from a hostile area so that you can recover them. The weapons. Uh, there are several Star Trek weapons mods. I stuck to these because they make the battle last a little longer, but they actually are very effective. You can. Uh, appreciate the difference a little more when you're actually in combat with something and not having to control the weapons individually. I'll throw something out there and attack it so you can see what I mean. Just 
won't take a minute. Generally, I spend a lot of time testing ships by doing this exact sort of thing. Whenever I'm not playing with other people, it's nice to have a way to determine how long your ship's going to last in heavy combat. So, something like... There we go. I just recently refitted this ship with the same weapons and everything. I added a couple shuttle bays. So it's not the same one you can find in my workshop. If you look for it in my workshop, you will find a Reliant, but it's outdated. It's the other type of shields, not the bubble energy shields. Some of the ships have both. Um, doesn't seem to prolong the block damage that much. It does prolong it a little to have both, but it's a massive amount of power that you have to use. Let's get to my cockpit real quick. Bridge, rather. I can't really be sure which of these ships is going to do better here because I haven't done much fighting against the Roland since I added the new weapons. Alright, so I'm going to remote access the other ship. A feature that I really wish they would add to this is that if you change factions of a ship, it should allow them to attack as though it were one of theirs. I wonder if they're even working on that. section you can 
tell the reason they built another wall between the reactor and the outside of the ship. They seem to want to shoot that area a 